Uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Giuseppe Sgoluppi from Automobile Lamborghini, and together with uh, Alfredo Corollaro from Bridgestone EMIA, uh, I'm going to give you a presentation about uh, a joint activity uh, done during the development of the Huracan STO. Uh, the activity has been carried out uh, with a full virtual approach and aimed at the optimization of the tire dynamic footprint in specific working condition. The Huracan STO project has some very challenging uh, uh, project targets and timeline. Uh, so the only way we could achieve the target on time was to go virtual as much as possible. Here, uh, I give you a short overview about the Huracan STO. Uh, STO stands for Super Trofeo Homologata, which is uh, a sort of uh, homologated version of the Huracan that takes part in the uh, Lamborghini Super Trofeo Championships. And like the other models of the Huracan family, it has a V10 engine with 640 horsepower, with a rear-wheel drive configuration. And the, the natural environment of the STO is the truck. That's why it has an um, uh, enhanced aerodynamic package with an adjustable rear wing. The lightweight design and the uh, CCMR brake disc allow the STO to reach uh, excellent performance in braking, acceleration and braking, as well as in the lateral dynamics. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, STO is um, a real-wheel drive car, unlike most of the Lamborghini models, which are usually four-wheel drive. That's why from the very beginning of the development, uh, we focused on the optimization of the combined traction capabilities uh, in the combined phase, uh, such as the exit, for example, from low-speed corners, which can be critical compared to a four-wheel drive. So um, on one side, we had uh, the Lamborghini full virtual uh, vehicle model, um, which was available from a, a very early stage of the development and with most of the subsystem validated since they were in common with previous uh, version of the Huracan family. And on the other side, we have the bridge, uh, tire virtual prototype by Bridgestone that Alfredo will explain later. The meeting point between these two worlds was the driver in the loop. The driver in the loop, and the driver in the loop was used um, in two phases. At the beginning, we used the, the driver in the loop with our uh, test driver to uh, evaluate and to extract all the uh, uh, characteristics, the, the tire um, characteristics, the, the tire working condition, let's say, and this was able. Um, uh, it, it was possible thanks to a validated suspension system and our test driver that could perform the exact same maneuver that they usually uh, perform on track. So we could uh, provide uh, robust data to, to Bridgestone for their analysis. Then the driver simulator, um, diving simulator has been used in a, in a later phase. Uh, to assess all the specs that came out for the, from the um, Bristol tire virtual prototyping. And we were able to, uh, to test uh, several specs, uh, assess several specs uh, way before the actual prototype, physical prototypes were available on track. Uh, about the uh, combined traction capabilities, uh, one of the main use cases was the uh, exit uh, from airpin at turn five uh, Anardo Technical Center, which is our uh, reference test truck for handling. And for those who are not familiar with the truck, it's a low speed corner with a small curvature radius, uh, which is particularly um, critical in the turn exit phase. In the, in the plot uh, on the left, on the right, uh, you can see the situation that we had uh, the first test at the driving simulator with a reference uh, um, uh, tire model. And compared to another uh, model of the Huracan family, which is a four-wheel drive. Uh, we can see in the upper plot, for example, that even though the STO uh, has an higher speed at the corner apex, it's critical in the um, uh, turn exit phase uh, compared to the four-wheel drive. 
And in the two plot below, we can see uh, from a driver's perspective, the driver input, uh, the steering wheel angle and the throttle, that the driver cannot go hard on the throttle until he has completely realigned the steering wheel, uh, different from the, uh, the four-wheel drive, where he can go hard on the throttle very, very soon. Here we can see the same situation uh, from an acceleration point of view. Uh, on the upper plot, you can see the, the complete lap. Um, the, two, the two vehicles are uh, quite similar in most of the speed range. It's a longitudinal acceleration versus speed. And so the two vehicles are quite similar in most of the speed ranges. When, and the, the area where they differ the most is the low speed range. In the lower plot, um, uh, we are, I have plotted just the, the point uh, relative to the turn five. And here we can see that the uh, difference in longitudinal acceleration is quite important. So um, from several laps in the driving simulator with our test driver, uh, we extracted the um, uh, vehicle characteristics and the tire working condition in terms of loads, uh, characteristic angles. And so we provided this data to, to Bridgestone to allow them to do their visual prototyping. Here, before giving the, the floor to Alfredo, uh, I just want to stress out a bit more the fact that we put a big effort on uh, extract, on uh, evaluating the exact uh, tire working condition and using a validated suspension system and our test driver could perform the exact same maneuvers he does on, on the truck. And because here uh, we can see from a qualitative point of view from a static situation where we don't have load transfer, where the uh, suspension, the tire angles, okay, wheel angles are the, the, one, the static one. It's completely different from a very uh, high dynamic situation, such as those of the turn five, where the um, uh, actual tire, uh, tire states are the results of uh, an heavy load transfer um, and the forces and moment actually are acting on the, on the wheels and the suspension. So, Fredo. Thank you. Thank you, Giuseppe, and uh, good morning uh, all. Uh, good afternoon, indeed. Okay, so uh, to capitalize what we have uh, collected, what we have done in the first part of the activity, we leveraged our capabilities in a virtual tire development. Here I'm reporting uh, the workflow that we use to, to follow. We start from uh, a Bridgestone spec to be used as a reference of which we build uh, the digital twin, so the virtual replica of that spec. With it, uh, we can enter uh, into the actual virtual tire development uh, in which we have the capabilities to design the mold in a fully virtual environment. We have the capability to optimize the construction of the tire still in a fully virtual environment. And then, of course, we can somehow submit to the customer, to Lamborghini in this case, uh, the optimized virtual specs in the form of, uh, of tire models. But let me say what we have uh, uh, done specifically in this case. Um, in, to exploit uh, the data that we have collected during the first part of the activity, as Giuseppe said, uh, those data have been used to uh, know the actual working conditions of the tires uh, in different and specific parts uh, of, uh, of the truck. Then we use those data, as I said, to optimize uh, the mold, the shape of the mold for, uh, of the tire. Uh, here we are reporting just some options uh, as uh, as an example, and among all of them, um, with the, uh, let's say, target of optimizing the contact pressure distribution to increase the actual contact area of the tire uh, in those specific parts of, of the truck. Uh, with the target, the final target, of course, to increase the grip level experienced by, by the tires. Uh, here, as I was saying, I'm reporting just some options uh, as an example. And then we selected the best of all among, among all of them. The best option has been then translated into the actual shape of the mold for the final product, the final potenza race product for, for the vehicle. 
then still leveraging one of our capabilities, the one capable to simulate, to predict somehow the force and moment of a tire still in a fully virtual environment. Here, for example, I'm reporting the direct comparison between the measurements reported in blue and compared with the output of the simulations reported in orange. And in addition to the two sizes of the Huracan STO, I'm also reporting a 16 inch just to highlight that we use this type of capability for all the tires that we uh, develop, all the products that we develop. Well, with this capability, we use those data to be fitted uh, to, to get uh, the classical MF tire model uh, to be used uh, one more time uh, in, uh, in, a, in the driving simulator. Because uh, as I said, uh, as, as Giuseppe was saying, uh, we moved back uh, one more time on the driving simulator uh, with the optimized virtual spec. So once the mold has been defined, we still uh, um, performed an optimization of the constraint and we uh, subjectively assessed the several combinations front rear in order to uh, find the best combination in order to improve the balance of the vehicle and to get the best uh, performance uh, for, uh, for the vehicle. Uh, once we identified the best combo, then we finally build for the first time, let's say, the optimal specs and uh, uh, the outcomes of the activity have been fully confirmed once uh, uh, on, uh, on track. Then I leave uh, one more time the stage to uh, Giuseppe just to ex explain the outcomes of the activity from Lamborghini point of view. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll show you just uh, to close the loop uh, um, the situation that we have before, that I showed you before, and the situation that we, <coughs> we had after the optimization made by Bridgestone. So we can see that with the optimization, optimized spec, we, we just reached the same performance uh, of the four-wheel drive in, the, in that specific use case. Of course, we, there have been, uh, uh, the performance are increased also in other phases, but here we are focusing on the turn five that I showed you before. And so the, the turn exit is much more effective with the optimized spec and the, uh, the, these results have been then confirmed by, by uh, the same uh, test driver that we, uh, we used at the simulator and uh, that had the chance to, to test the, uh, the, the tires and the prototypes and it confirmed what he, he also the, the subjective uh, uh, feedback that he gave at the simulator during the activity. Okay, I'm just going to, to conclude. I don't need it. Uh, the virtualization of the process uh, allowed us to be very fast to respond to the requirements by Lamborghini. Uh, indeed, uh, thanks to the, uh, this approach, uh, thanks to the virtualization and thanks to the driver in the loop, uh, we saved more or less 75% of the time during this specific uh, development. Uh, let me also say that for sure, it's, uh, this process is future oriented because uh, we, in that case, provided, for example, Lamborghini with 100% of virtual models of non-existing products at, at the time. As I said, we uh, had optimized even the mold of, of the tires in that, uh, in that case. And uh, last but not least, uh, it's sustainable for sure because it allowed to reduce the physical test on vehicle. In this case, 900 kilometers more or less, but we are experiencing much more in, uh, in these years. And of course, it also helped to reduce uh, the CO2 emission also thanks to the saving of uh, up to 200 experiments tires that uh, we didn't need to uh, build. That's all. Thank you. Thank you very much.